On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we're starting out here because we got a twofer for you guys. Uh, really just two projects in one day. Josh bought this incredible race trailer. Look how insane that thing is. It just keeps going, it keeps going. <laughs> so we're gonna load that a minute, take it to the shop, and then get his half ton ready to pull this giant race trailer. <laughs> but this thing, it just needs to move. Uh, I need to hang it back up and tear out both axles. That's, I just wanna do that so they're all ready to go. And this is not the place to do it. The GTR needs to be inside here. So uh, let's get to the warehouse. Oh yeah, and it's a neutral, so. And it will roll down the hill by itself. It's got, it's got all the neutrals. Yeah, this thing's fun. It does have all the neutrals. <laughs> all right, we're almost in the trailer. All we did was roll it down the hill backwards. <laughs> oh no, it's heavy. Oh, I'm on the brake. Um, I need to get out, that's the problem. What is going on guys? I am Watch JR Go and welcome to the trailer. This thing is gigantic. <laughs> it's big. It's <laughs> so big. Uh, so Josh bought this this morning. I, I went to buy a 24 footer and the guy said, I just sold my last one. Uh -huh. I've got a 30. What are you towing it with? I said, a half ton truck. He said, hmm. It eh, might not work. So yeah. we bought a trailer so I could buy a truck next year, I think. Perfect. That is it, the move. I think it will tow two cars. That is crazy. It would definitely, I was thinking if we push this all the way to the front, the GTR still fits. Yeah. I think it does. It's supposed to be a new track day rig. Heck yes. So, man, this thing's so new. It still has like wood and stuff sitting down the <laughs> hinge. Uh, and really cool, it has the loading lights, these big LED loading lights. Those look super nice. And uh, it would have been cool to have one on both sides so you could shine a light inside yes. at night time. But at least it has inside lights. Yeah. So. Uh, we're gonna grab the straps and uh, tie that thing down and get over to the shop. Then install some bags on the truck. The uh, all-terrain Z71. That thing is set up. It's crazy, that trailer is twice as big as that truck. All right. New trailers are so pretty. It's the prettiest it's ever gonna be. It's got like 3.2 miles on it. 3.2 <laughs> miles. I love it. All right, well. The truck's not spotting too bad, actually. It does look pretty level. But I'm sure once it's really loaded with more than an atom, yeah. it's gonna squat. <laughs> Let's go put some bags on this thing. How many how many bottles of ceramic coat do you think it's gonna take? To uh, uh, do this trailer? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with uh, two to three bottles for this bad boy. It has a lot of surface area. Totally worth it. It is. It'll look clean forever. I'll probably poly the floor. Yeah. So I can just wipe oil and grease off. Nice. Smart. A few things, I towed this over to the shop and uh, you definitely cannot see around the trailer and Josh had that figured out already. He has these slide on towing mirrors and the install is honestly very simple, but there's a little more to it than this. Obviously it's built for the GM mirror and you just kind of go like that and it's on towing mirror and you can see around. But there's a, a lock and you also have to set up a few more little things here. So there's this tape tape goes on there it looks like or possibly on yeah i think this one goes here yep. like that and this one goes here that's what i'm doing all right there's the rubber isolator on the passenger side just kind of stick that in there and that keeps it from scratching up the factory mirrors all that chrome on them and I'm gonna go ahead and put this strip on here and then we're ready to install the other side. So now we have all the rubber tape uh, installed. It's, if I can do this with one hand. There we go. And once that tape is inside, it's much harder to actually slide this thing on. Yeah. So I'm pushing incredibly hard. Then we will insert this locking wedge here. And then you're supposed to push this in until it aligns and it has not aligned yet. So I'm gonna have to push super hard and get this thing on a little bit farther. Okay, I think we're there. I had to have two hands so I could see the little lock in the wedge. Ooh, there it went. <laughs> yeah, the pop means it's good. Yeah. Self-torquing. Self-torquing. Clicking tells you it's working. <laughs> Did you tighten yours all the way down? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, three-fourths of the way. Okay, well, mine's flush. Okay, good to go. Nailed it. And they look ridiculous. It looks like a shoe sticking out of the side, like a clown shoe mirror. It does. 
Because it's not any taller, it just right. grew straight out. Flop! <laughs> Are you gonna, you gonna put it in wing mode? Oh yeah, it's all still fine. Very fancy. <laughs> Flap your wings. I bet those destroy your gas mileage. Not the trailer, it's actually just the mirrors. Yeah. Okay, so we did the fun, easy part. Now it's time for the important part here. Helper bags. These are the Airlift 5000s, the simple kit that has uh, Schrader valves, so you can just inflate them uh, with an air compressor. And if you keep that cordless Milwaukee on you, you'll only have like $300 in all of this instead of 1000 for the Airlift kit. If you're looking for that next week, it's not in my truck. Oh, <laughs> did you, did you uh, disappear it? <laughs> I do need the new Milwaukee one because now they have one with a tank. Yeah, and then you could like a nail you could run tools on the side of the road. Like ten ugga duggas. Here you go. Here's here's the instructions for the mirrors. I figure you probably want to keep those safe. So here is our airlift kit. Bag in the truck. You don't even like lower trucks. <laughs> you can pop now though. <laughs> it is. This will help. I hit a bridge on the way, and man, was this thing moving around. Truck wanted to get air. Got some hats. Got some mounting brackets. The trailer came with koozies. That's nice. The trailer came with koozies. Yeah. That's cool. We got hats and koozies. There we go. That's all the things. They even gave you instructions. How epic. Yeah. Like we're gonna read those. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just. Put some hot glue on this and stick it under the truck and then hook that up and it's all good. You just go at it till you get confused and then you like flip to the one page you need and then throw the rest of it away. Yep. Then you take it all apart and do it right. <laughs> you feel like, oh man, we did this all backwards. But it appears to me like you just kind of do that. And then you probably like put some plugs in those and it's all good to go. So here's our bags. You want to put the top plate on it. It just sits on there like that. I did sticker down because the line should ride off the top, I think. Uh, and it does say max torque for mounting, 20 foot pounds and max pressure 100. So now we take our bracket here, put that on top, line up all of these holes. Uh-huh, 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 pretty close. And we have the torque wrench set to 20 foot pounds. We probably should have tossed Loctite in there, but hey, dirt is also Loctite. Didn't say anything about Loctite. It sure doesn't. Look, it said 20 when I stopped, then it said 23 after. So I'm going with I was right the whole time. 20.4. This is more fun than doing all the other stuff they wanted you to do with the truck. So we just skipped all that junk and went straight to installing the airbag. You ever wonder who these Allen head bolts are named after? Probably some guy named Allen. Allen Phillips? <laughs> He's just like, he just doubled down. <laughs> what is your name? What did you make? I I'm fam famous for the Phillips head and the Allen head. You may, you may have heard of me. <laughs> Whoever's named Triple Square is very unfortunate. He named it's his kid Torx. Torx. It's taking longer because we're using cool toys like this Torx. Right. And yeah, we could have skipped all that and gone straight to nine Ugga Duggas. <laughs> Boom. What you mean, my boy? Hit that thing with two Uggas and a Dugga. Go for 20.1. Well, 20.1 is a pretty good number. Oh, 20 zero, Ooh, the winner. precision. Okay, so the arrow on this bracket points away, there's an arrow right there, away from the air fitting. And the air fitting on this one, it's right here. I've got it on this side. So now we're just gonna repeat, put in more screws and uh, tighten down to 20 foot pounds. We need a plate this side too. Oh yeah, we do need a plate, huh. smart. And it does go like whichever way you want, I guess. These look expensive. <laughs> Should we make the hole match the other one? Does the plate go on top? No, the plate has to go the other way. Duh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. Cool. We're just guessing. I know there's instructions, but like, it's just so much more fun to guess. You get, you get to become an engineer this way? Yes. You feel like you'd help design the kit? Absolutely. If it doesn't fit, you're like, whoever designed this is terrible. Yeah, you the instructions. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? what were they thinking? So the bump stops have to come out. They're a 10. It doesn't tell you that anywhere. And these brake uh, wheel speed sensor lines, they have to come down and they're just Christmas trees. So a good yank will pull those off. And uh, the tin is inside 
the bump stop there, so just got a crank on it. Airlift does include this cool tool for, uh, you screw the, that onto the bolt and you can pull the bolts through the frame, which is pretty, pretty neat. We're gonna come through that hole there and then down through that hole there and that will let us mount this thing. And then the U-bolts are literally just sitting in there. How much clearance you got? How's your clearance, Clarence? Keep going, give me like a little push. Okay, there we go. We're gonna run it through the plate. Do you want to? You wanna try it? Yeah. I bet it doesn't work. This is a iffy at best. Ah, oh, man, we nailed it. It's very important where you get that front U-bolt to land. It will fight you to the death. Josh is squeezing it up in there, and then on the passenger side, it's super easy because it all just sits right where it needs to go. So this one's ready to bolt up. And once that's all bolted up, you literally just clip this on to the axle and it replaces the bump stop. We went ahead and pointed the lines towards the inside. I think you should do that no matter what. Uh, people probably route them however they want, but that makes a lot more sense. Uh, you can see the wheel speed sensor is on its new clip and all of the bolts are just in there and it's hanging. So we are just about there. Oh, is that going to fit? No. How do you back this? Oh, it did. No way. It did. Man, you must be on the very edge. Boom. Oh, 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 it wants to. It's time to try and put this thing together. We're gonna try to lift up the axle here. All right, we're gonna try to lift this thing gently ever closer to the bag. Oh, that's good. Daylight in the back. You're lifting the truck. Oh, I am? Yeah. I am lifting the truck. Okay, I'll pull down on the bag. There we go. There you go. I think that clip goes outside. It does. I gotta get it started first. Okay. You can see what we're doing there. Nice. Now, eventually, yes, it will go outside. <laughs> we're gonna have to fight to make that happen. A few minutes later, we went ahead and routed all the lines. Uh, I'll show you guys my line routing here. It comes up and then it follows the factory wiring harness where it's tied back. And then it goes under the uh, rear ECU there. I think that might be the light computer, trailer computer. And then it comes through the plastic right there. There's the other line is exactly opposite it inside the tag zone here. And we'll air it up, put the caps on it here in just a moment. And uh, yeah. This thing's on, tight, not going anywhere. Barely even have any extra parts left <laughs> we over. Barely didn't use any parts. <laughs> These are for a fifth wheel. Fifth wheel. Plate. And no one knows what that one is. Yeah, it's just an extra, I guess, pure, a bonus. And a, I don't know. It's for a random. couple different models. So. It is for different models, for sure. Okay, so airbags installed and uh, we're ready to drop this thing off the lift and put some air on it. See if we can. <laughs> it's not fast enough for that. Hey, is it going to lift this thing up in the air? That's the question. What better? <laughs> If I can get this on there. Want that Joe Dirt look? Yeah. All right, zero PSI. Oh, that thing sure, moved. Sure did. It says go to 50. That's 60. Ooh wee, baby. There's 65. 60. All right, let's try this. This is how you test suspensions. I learned it on Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Remember Ocean's Eleven when they're testing the van? It's just like four guys jumping on it. Oh, that does work though. That, that is way up in the air. What a difference. That thing is up in the air. You do have that, uh, you got the reverse Carolina squat. Reverse squatted truck. Put it at 100, man. It says 100's max. It is a max. Yeah. It says five men, 100 max. All right, we put 100 in it. Let's test this out. Oh, God, it's so big. It doesn't move. This thing doesn't move at all. Here, you jump on it. It's super Is funny. Fetch you? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> that truck, it's almost lifting the rear wheel off the ground, dude. <laughs> Everything's falling off. That's actually amazing. I've never seen the rear tire want to pick up so much. Huh. That thing really ties the rear end together. Josh is putting his 400 pound hitch back on here. <laughs> I told you, man. That thing's terrible. Oh, that's, oh, it's, oh. I was fighting to put that thing over there. Boom. Well, that's not too bad of a project. It's like a leisurely hour. You could get it done really fast if you were in a hurry, but we took our time 
And uh, now it's time to hook this thing back up to the trailer. All right, time to get this monster of a trailer back on the hitch. And we'll show you guys how to put these uh, load leveling arms on if you've never seen that before. I've seen plenty of them, but I've never done it. And it turns out it's a huge job to get this on there. It's kind of sketchy. So scary. I mean, one of them definitely exploded off and we used the wrench. Okay, she locked on. So when we were there at the store, he just slid him right in. We just slid him in. We pushed him right on. Let's try it. So we'll see. You are nowhere close to. So that pin goes in there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going with no chance. So the tool's right behind you. Oh, yeah, that's where it exploded too. Yeah. So the other one might be easy, and this one might be a nightmare. Hey, it actually went pretty well this time. It's the easy one. Cool. Yeah, the other one's gonna be super hard. So now you pull this pin here, if you can. There we go. And this sets on there like that to lock that arm down in. And then you pin it. All right. So you can get different weights of bars. This is 800 to 1200. Yeah. So if you hold more weight, you'd add more bar, which would take more weight off the tongue, I guess. Brings all the weight way back here. As he explained it to me today. Yeah, so that one went right on. And now if we just crank the trailer up, I think it'll actually just sit in there. So this is the anti-sway portion. Yes. So if this is too tight. It won't move at all. It won't move at all. Yeah, so and you need to go in a little bit for sure. Right. There it is. So I had to pull it out so I could get in, there. if that makes sense. Yep. Which I had been trying, but it would not move because it was there was so much opposite tension on it before. Yeah. So and now, there you go. That's what we needed I feel the whole like time. It's too tight. It is. It's probably too tight. But that works. It worked right there. Boom. All right. They go on way easier than they come off. That's for sure. They exploded off when we took this apart. We're good. Well, that was a fun and somewhat different job. And we got the Atom back inside, moved over to the shop so the axles can come out and it can sit somewhere where it's not completely in the way. And uh, Josh is ready to haul 30,000 pounds in that trailer. <laughs> Sketchy. Got a half ton truck yep. hauling 30,000 pounds. Maybe. No problem. Yikes. Put 100 pounds in those bags. <laughs> Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchjarga.com, where you can get cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Oh, it got pretty dirty. Also, I hit a pizza. I was pretty upset about that. What is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened was while we were pulling it back in the middle of the night, right? I thought fire was coming and hitting me in the face because I saw something red fly off this tire. It was not fire, it was literally pizza. And then like the next day we found some pizza in like the seat and on the bars and stuff. And it definitely, oh, there's more of it. Look at that. In case you don't believe me, that's like pizza cheese right there. <laughs> Somebody just threw a pizza out of their car? Yeah, it was just in the road and that truck was right there, there's right? cheese right there? Oh yeah, yeah, there's pizza everywhere. <laughs> so that truck was so close, it threw it right at my face. I got pizza. I hope somebody had pizza insurance. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that was Domino's. I wish I had pizza insurance. <laughs> Does that, <laughs> I got totaled. <laughs> Send me a new everything. Did not avoid the noise. <laughs> the noise.